Hello and welcome to Tea with Lily Bet. I can't believe that it's been nearly two months since I've moved in and I've got an awful lot done. However, when I chose this place, I knew I was gonna to have to do something about the storage quite quickly. If you've watched some of my past videos, you'll know that I spent most of last year decluttering my old home and I got rid of so much stuff. The truth is that I ran out of time to declutter everything that I needed to before I moved in. But coming into this new space has really motivated me to look at my things once again. This week I was playing around with the balcony configuration, but you can't really appreciate it because I've still got some bits and pieces around here. So I do want to spend a bit of time sorting this space up. I've got some pots that I've got to decide what to do with. Then I've got this box that has outdoor decorations. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with them because I don't really have the space to put much more. And then I've got some gardening supplies here that really do need to be moved down to the storage cage. And then I've got my toolkit as well, which needs to go into storage. In this corner, I've got some cushions that need to be decluttered. When I first moved in, my sister set up the utility cupboard with some necessities just to get me started. And I haven't done much with it since then. I will be planning to get either another shelf or some drawers, but I want to set this up a little bit better and get rid of some of the stuff that I don't need to be hanging on to in here. This is one of the temporary storage areas that I set up when I moved in. These boxes have become an absolute jumble, so I need to work on that. I've done a lot of work in the bathroom already, but I do have this basket that has odds and ends in it. I have Millie's things in this little basket that probably do need to be put away. I just don't have a place to put them yet. So if I clear some of the storage space, I might be able to move those out of sight. And then I've got all my laundry detergent. But the rest of the bathroom has come along pretty well. I've been so happy with this storage unit that I've put in. It's been a game changer for me. I wanna start with the storage buckets that are near the front door. So let's get it all out and I'll work on the carpet. everything into three piles, the items that I'm going to keep in the apartment, the items that are going to go into storage, and everything that I'm going to get rid of. Keep calling out, the wind starts to howl, loud for the sorted through these containers now. So this is the pile that's all going to be decluttered. I've got a bath mat. This is a very old blanket that I hung on to in case it suited this new apartment, but I'm going to let it go. I've got a bunch of tea towels. This is a door snake, but I've got that green one over there and I don't need the red one anymore. An old power board. And this is the heater that I used in my bathroom in my old place. I relied on this so much because my old place wasn't centrally heated and I needed this every time I showered. So that's going to probably be sold. So this is everything that's going into my storage unit. I've got some cleaning rags. I've got a container that I don't know what I'm gonna do with yet. And I've got some moving supplies like packing tape and some Christmas decorations. That reminds me, I did a further declutter of my Christmas decorations and I decided to let these beauties go. So they're gonna go over here in this pile. This bauble is absolutely gorgeous, but it's just too large to sit on the tree. It overwhelms the tree, so I decided to let it go. Those two are just ones that I don't really think suit my tree at all. I'm going to move these items out of the way so I can move on to the dreaded utility cupboard. I just went down to the storage unit and grabbed some bags and this basket so that I have containers to put the decluttered items into. 
while I was there, I got rid of some of the items that were going down to storage from my declutter pile. So that was a good trip. Time to move on to decluttering the utility cupboard. I access things in this cupboard every day and I'm finding it pretty frustrating because the setup at the moment isn't very optimized. So not only do I want to declutter it, I want to introduce some containers and make this space a bit more functional. I booked an appointment to get drawers fitted not only for this cupboard but also for my kitchen pantry, some other kitchen cupboards and my wardrobe. So any work that I do here today is really preparation for changing the configuration of this space and also to get rid of anything that I will not want to store long term. This is my car of items that I'm decluttering. I've added a couple of items to ones that are going to go into the storage cupboard. Over here are all the items that I'm keeping and that's just a pile of rubbish that I need to throw out. At the moment I have two different types of towels. I've got this purple set and I've got these blue towels and I would really like to replace them both with something probably more neutral to suit the new space. But until I decide what color scheme and what towels I'm going to go with, I just want to hang on to these. I have other priorities in the apartment at the moment, so I'll probably replace these down the line. I could just let go of the blue set altogether because I do slightly favor the purple ones. I don't have quite enough hand towels and washcloths in a purple set, so I do end up using the blue hand towels and washcloths quite a lot. So I've decided that it's probably better just to hang on to both sets and then when I declutter them, whoever gets them will get the benefit of a full set. But I do have a number of towels that I can get rid of now. I've got two turquoise washcloths and four pink washcloths that I really don't need, so I'll declutter those. This random purple one that isn't part of the other set, it's just an Enya one that I got but I haven't really used that much. And then in the blue set, I've got two bath mats. So I'm gonna get rid of one of the bath mats and these smaller blue towels. I tend to really like large bath sheets and I never use these at all. And then there's this blue striped bath mat that I still really do like. I haven't used it for the past couple of months since I've moved in, so I probably don't need to hang on to it. And it's better just to declutter it and let someone else get some good use out of it. I've decided to keep this blue sheet. It's a queen size. With people coming over to do works in the apartment, it does get quite dusty and dirty. So it's nice to be able to have this to throw over furniture to keep it clean. This was a big jumbled mess. So organizing this box should make it easier to access the individual items that I need.
I plan to store all the towels and bed linen in the bedroom, but I need to sort out the storage in that space before I move everything in. So for now, they're just going in these white storage bins, which I'll put on the lower shelf of the console table. I've just retrieved a bunch of containers that was in my storage cage that I was using in my last place. I'm hoping that I can use these to corral these items into something a little bit more manageable. The containers have gotten a little bit dusty while being stored in the storage cage over the last couple of months. So I'm gonna give them a quick wipe before I work out which ones I'm going to use. One of the downsides of this apartment is that it doesn't have a separate laundry or a laundry cupboard, but I've adjusted a lot more quickly than I thought I would, and I don't mind having the washer and dryer in the bathroom. But I really do miss having the laundry cupboards to keep everything nice and hidden away. So this utility cupboard is going to be housing all of my laundry things. And a few things from the kitchen, like tea towels. I run a music therapy business from home, which means I have a lot of electronic gear which comes with a lot of leads and cords. When I first moved in, I just put them in a bag and I took out what I needed, but it's become a big tangle, so I've decided to use this little container. My sister also got me some Velcro cord ties, which I'm gonna use to keep everything neat and tidy. I've got Millie's container here that I've been keeping in the bathroom. It's got her litter scooper, her pee pads, and her bits and pieces. But I really want to put it into the cupboard. So I'm just going to tidy this up and then we can start putting things away. After decluttering, this is the configuration that I have in the utility cupboard. I have my first aid kit at the back there and some nail varnishing. This container has my tea towels and spare washcloths for the kitchen. And in this one, I've got my Dyson vacuum heads. Then on this side, I've got all of my electronic gear. I've got my iPad, some cords, some bits and pieces for my filming, a speaker, and my camera bag. All of this stuff is actually gonna go into the custom storage unit that I'm gonna build. So this area is gonna be freed up for other things. At the back here, I've got my shoe polishing, which I don't use very often, and then some cleaning rag. This is Millie's stuff. I've also got Millie's little cat tunnel, some Enyo cloths, my iron, and these are my laundry bags for washing my delicate. I'll just move these for a minute. On this side, I've got my jewelry cleaner, my sewing kit, and some scissors. And this is just a little utility 
box with all of those items that I decluttered, things like batteries, some hooks, light bulbs, and the felt pads for the furniture. And then this is my new laundry basket. I've got washing detergent, stain remover, a garment steamer, a deep fluffer for woolen garments. This is a little fold up clothes rack. And this is a deep fluffer. As I mentioned, I'm planning to put custom drawers into this cupboard. So that should make the space a lot more usable, but this configuration should work okay until I get the drawers installed. The next task is to declutter and do a bit of reorganizing on the balcony. Except for a couple of boxes in my storage cage, this is the last box in my apartment to be unpacked. I've left it this long because it's full of decorations for the balcony and I wasn't sure where I was going to put everything, but now feels like the right time to get them out and decide if I want to keep them or declutter them. This garden ornament is stunning, but unfortunately there's no place to put it on my balcony. I don't have a place to hang these wrought iron pieces at the moment either. They are very beautiful, so they'll go into my storage cage until I decide whether I want to keep or sell them. I bought this container of potting mix quite a while ago to repot some of my indoor plants, and I just hadn't had a chance to do it yet. But instead of putting this into storage, I've decided just to get the planting done now, and then I'll be able to free up the space that this bucket was taking. After having a much larger garden to manage, I'm excited for having a much smaller space to maintain and look forward to being able to develop it over time. But for now, it's just great to get these plants that are overdue to be repotted into fresh soil and I look forward to seeing how well they do in this space.
after changing around the outdoor decor a little bit more, I've landed on this arrangement. I'm sure I'll do further changes over time, but it's just good to have a place for everything. have this last basket from the bathroom to declutter and then I'll tidy up. bathroom is looking a lot better now. I put Millie's spare litter behind the litter box and all the cat supplies are now in the utility cupboard in the living space. Would you stay till the morning light? Or would you follow me? Or would you let it be? If I leave tonight, we could do this right. We'll find the remedy. Or would you stay with me now till the morning light? Thank you for joining me for my first big declutter in my new apartment. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. And if you haven't already done so, I would love to welcome you as a new subscriber. Thanks again for watching and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now. Oh, would you let